Hello, I'm Martijn Manders. I'm a professor at Underwater Archaeology and this is Archaeology in One Minute. Now we're going to talk about the protection of underwater culture heritage. And there are two ways to do that. First of all, you can legally protect the site. And second, you can physically protect the site. We can then cover a site up with sandbags, with polypropylene nets, like scaffolding nets, uh, or in other ways, geotextile or just sediment, for example. After protection, we come back at regular times to see if the protection worked or not. And if it didn't work well, we have to find another plan or we have to repair our in-situ preservation. And we do this to be able to research at a later stage, maybe in the next generation, or that we have a site where sports divers can go to, or that we can commemorate the site because our loved ones died in it. So it is very important to preserve sites in situ as well. Colombia, potencia de la vida.